What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Cheese League May 2024. My name is Kaiser. We're live with some melee very shortly. I'll put out the announcement that we're live in a moment and we'll get some first matches up in a second. We will have, um, yeah, our first we'll have Scrandle and, um, and Nangarang. Up first, it seems. Okay. Cool beans, everyone. Looking good, it seems. Jesus. There we go. Okay. Alright, uh, you guys should be good to start. Folks in chat, are we are we live? Are we here? Can you see the game? Can you hear the game? Does it sound good? Etc. Check the bracket and stuff. Put the bracket in chat. We're going with Scrandle now. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we don't really have to, a lot of time. I mean, we sort of do, but we don't. We actually have a decent amount of people who enter today, which is really good. Um, I'll just tweet out that we're, we're live and such.
Whoa, tournament, crazy. Caleb, what happened? You wait, what happened? Two one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You got Will. Trucker fit, the cargo pants, and the, the hat cap, it's so good. <laughs> sure. Yep. <laughs> oh, I kind of want to make my pants better at McDonald's. Do you know, is there a second headset? Oh, there is. Yeah.
Hi, Michael. How are you? Um, I'm kind of feeling good about gaming tonight. This is crazy. It doesn't normally happen. <gasps> it's a CS angle. What? Three. Hey. Feeling good tonight. Hmm? Imagine if Caleb loses the world tonight. What? Just imagine. Oh, Caleb losing the world tonight. Well, it didn't feel that bad. I know, but that's too much. Like, I... But imagine. You feel like, you know what he said in the book club? Like, you really just want to go to... Come yeah. On, no, don't hope for that. I, it's, it would be really funny. It's be like... Bad. Okay. okay it, kind of, but like, well, so come on. Kind of. It would be very funny. Okay, Let's be honest okay, here. Okay, but Caleb, I'm, I got nothing against Will, but Caleb is more my boy than Will is, so. Yeah. I got but like. So, like, it's way funnier if Will wins. And, like, if, know, you, if you care for your boy, you have to care for, like, yeah, but it he, being funny. Yeah, but he, he, need, he needs some positive encouragement today. I'm so sorry, Yosh. That's a, that's a tragedy. You're in for an experience. CS. No. Let's move Risen to Frame. Yeah, because um, I don't think he was too happy after I said. With uh, yet, uh, he came over and it was like, it was like, I was like, I couldn't understand what he was saying. It was like, oh, the scores. I was like, all right, two, two, one. It was like, no, two. I was like, who do I play? Who do I play? I'm like, put it in the fucking <laughs> Just Wait a second, Caleb. Holy shit. So what happened was game one. It was looking pretty good. He got like, like a pretty immediate first stock, and I'm like, fuck. I have yep. to play this matchup. A and stock it's behind. Three. It, it's, it feels bad. And it does. I was like, God, you're gonna fucking win this set. I'm feeling. No, I like climbed to back. See, Caleb has to. Caleb never holds the momentum though. That's the problem. Caleb never, never like. Caleb doesn't go like that. Where it's like, okay, I'm gonna like my opponent's love, like, Carl thinks that like this, this is like a best of three. Carl's gonna start freaking out. I'm just gonna hold my composure. He doesn't do that. He just like. Ends. I, I was honestly a bit freaked out. I was like, oh, fuck, I'm yeah. doing, I'm doing like a couple more bad dash attacks than usual. <laughs> <laughs> He's holding his shit, he's ready to back him, my dumb strat. Yep. I'm gonna lose this game and hopefully win the next and then like his counter pick and you don't wanna be in that position at all. Yeah. But then uh, you know, we did some things, played better, and then game two went back to Battlefield. Um yeah, oh, let's, just, let's just say he quit out, um I think basically lost his first on so we get um wasn't too happy. another banger Kai Rubin set theoretically, oh, yeah. unless a uh, scrandal or something to say about it. Which I can see it. Imagine if scrandal was like beats Kai or Rubin. Beats Rubin. That happened last time. Last time, uh, good old scrandal. Good old Brad. I, I love Brad. I love Brad. They all love him. He's just a lovable guy. It's crazy. Yeah, it's just dice in general. So like four to twenty members dice. Oh, uh, it is. Dice still, still presence is known. Not as known for the local performances, but we'll, uh, at the majors. And that's when they come out. Yeah. Ruben's gonna find a way to just like upset an American at Panem. Yeah. <laughs> be oh, like I'm the only one to do it. And we're just gonna be like, yeah, we suck. No, I just, I just want to see Ruben go to like an outside major in just like top eight in the same style that he does foul majors. Yeah. Uh, he's been, he's played a few like Japanese tournaments. I don't know if he's going to America. He did pretty decent at some of the Japanese tournaments, I think. Yeah, Ruben's just pretty good. Samus is, Samus. You don't have Samus experience, so you might just get on. I feel like I gotta have like at least one or two Samuses, like in Japan. Yeah, but if you don't play them. Maybe you should. Yeah. I think so. I think Samus is cool. I wouldn't go that far, but I think... <laughs> Wait, is Skirzo coming? Yash, that's sick if Skirzo's coming. That's so doable for like five people in this country. Who's, who's confirmed? I know Zane's confirmed. That's like the only one I know is actually confirmed for Manon. I'm not going to answer that question, Monkey. But like... All the good players in a few months. Skirzo, Josh, Zane. Where's... 
Yeah, what the hell? I want to be Skirza. Oh, Aiden's coming. Lax gets his uh, revenge. You, <laughs> you were standing there like a dapper young child, like ready to like uh, like waiting to like ask for food or something, or like at the grocery store line. What happened? That was a that was a worldy tournament. <laughs> Like, let's go, Will. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay, I was like, why are we saying? Not the other way. <laughs> I was like, why are we saying let's go, Will, when you put scores like that? Bro, right, it'll be probably Kai or Ruben. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Yash, unfortunately, I like give you a zero percent chance of beating the Americans. Everything, everything you do is incorrect for Americans, and you understand that at some point. It's like the way you play is like fundamentally incompatible with the Americans. What's that mean? I don't mean I don't like. Uh, so it mean like the Americans are like bullshit stoppers. They don't like play the game and interact. But if you do the dumb lazy thing, like even if it's pretty good, they'll beat it. Like if you just spam the dumb dumb lazy things, then you'll uh, then you'll be fine. By, you know, like, the, then you'll get owned. Like you actually have to like interact with them and like, like you have you have to control your brain worms and play patient. You lost me at interact. Yeah. Oh no, you, you do that. Except you don't hit hard enough. Yeah. You have similar problems, monkey. In that you, I could see you burst like this. Like a moth, mate? Like, there, there, may, there might be like a. I mean, the floaties, honestly, the floaties. I could see you versus the floaties. Um, I think you have a. Like, Samus and like those weird floaties, I see you have a chance, but I don't see you have a chance with the American Spaces. Well done. Are we having. Are we having next door? Are we having um, Brad Rubin? Or. Oh, uh, what? Toyota. So we're doing Sammy, so I can play Kyle? Oh, sure. No, you can go. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. So, are we up there? Uh, we have Ruben, Ruben Kai, and losers is Scrandle Riz. Good luck. Still best of three. What? Yeah, so everything passed round one. Best of three is hits different. It's like, oh my god, it's so scary. I'm proud of you with that, Yosh. That's, that's huge. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I think RNG would have a decent shot at some of the floaties and some of the spaces. Probably not in like any Ditto matchup or anything like that. Definitely not the Sheik or anything like that. Um, Rupert can definitely take the spaces. Probably not anyone else. Maybe Marth. Um, Goody, Sock, and I can obviously beat people. Nick can obviously beat people. We should change this. Change what? Nang money. Save. Save. Ready? Go! There we go. That's a Kai special. Filling off the top under a minute. Oh wait, RNG gets to go to Phantom? That's actually so fucking sick. Holy shit. That makes me really happy. I love RNG. I'm trying to think who, who else exists. Uh... Davin, but I don't know what matchups Davin would win. Marth, probably. Maybe a floaty, like Marth Page. Um, who else can beat Americans in this country? Duck, but Duck doesn't exist. Uh, trying to think. I hope Crack comes back, because I lost to Crack last major, and I am feeling very good against Marth right now. So that'd be cool. Did Davin beat Crike? Wait, really? That's sick. Oh, yeah, makes sense. 
I lost a crack at that tournament. But that was also awful when, like, new to rectangle. Yeah, I thought so. I don't remember Davin beating crack or anyone. He got, like, ninth. Yeah, yeah, Davin, Davin has a shot. If he's active and, like, playing the game. Um... I could see, Ru honestly, Ruben, I'd give a higher chance than like 90% of the people in this country versus like a random fox or something that doesn't know the matchup. Which is a lot of them. I don't know, Australia's actually not that bad, like at all. I think we've gone so much better. But there's just like... Ruben's nothing like Morse. They're like very different players. <laughs> There's not really a Samus like Ruben that's active right now. I'm trying to think what the most like Ruben like Samus is that's like ever played. What Samus is out there? It's not hugs. It's not dark. It's not moss. It's not plop. Ruben doesn't really use the platforms like Plop does. What other Samuses even exist? I don't know. I'll think about it. Like, Michael, I'm just being honest. You will get better, and then you'll have a shot. But right now, no. Let him dream. Yeah, well, there he you does. go. Well, he can use the he can use the motivation of no to get better, so he actually has a shot. Yeah, so we can say I think I'm wrong. Uh, Ted has a zero percent chance of beating any American that's like top one fifty or higher. Sorry, Ted. But the Samus match. <laughs> See, there's like, if you want to beat an American, there's like a this told to pass go, where you like have to hit, kill them uh, when you hit them sometimes. And if you can't do that, you just you're not tall enough to pass go. And Tid, unfortunately, is not tall enough to pass go. Ruben, actually, yeah. So true, actually, Jasper. Damn, these sets are always bangers, by the way. I guess. I haven't got to play Ruben in tournament yet, because uh, hasn't defeated the Kai yet, so I'd like to play Ruben at least one set tonight. It's been it's been years years since I've played Ruben in a tournament set. This is pretty yeah, pretty similar to Monkey Tip. Nice Ruben. That was sick. Good job. What do we got? Down smash? No. Take him to the corner, smart. Ooh, that could have been it if uh, he recognized a bit faster. Whoop. Are you gonna beat me tonight, Kyle? Maybe. Did you do the D voice for that intentionally? If so, that's really cute. No, no, I don't know what to say. I just miss you saying actual stuff like. Yeah. God, it's fine. You don't have to say anything if you don't want. All I know one is just like Samus Falgo. Something's happening. Yeah, we're just talking about like monkey's chances of being like. What do you, do you do? You reckon monkey has a chance of beating the American? What's your expert opinion on someone who's probably watched about five minutes of monkey's gameplay? I think the most I've watched of monkey is like is like the equivalent to being Kaylee. Yeah. Like that sort of set. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Okay, but well, you're gonna have to make a decision here. Who can, which American do you think Monkey could beat specifically? Ah, uh, no. At least the bad ones. At least the bad ones. There you go. Confirmed by Kyle, you can beat at least <laughs> the bad ones. I mean, well, um, I know Triff really wanted to come to Phantom, um, which would be sick. I'd love to have Triff and Phantom. I think I have a 2% chance of beating Triff right now. I think Sock and Goody, I think Sock has a non-zero chance of beating um, Triff. Goody I'm not sure about. I think Sock's better than Goody in the matchup. 
Um, you're welcome, monkey. Uh, I don't know if there's any other Europeans thinking of coming. There's a strip. Uh, who's Pickies? You're gonna have to inform me on this one. I don't know the Pickies. I know a decent amount of like the UK good players. I also don't know Nicolette. Uh, mildly. I know Wally's top 32 and Trip is top 32, and I should watch their games. Good job, Brimble. There we go. I'm smart. It's okay. I tell myself. I did see that Cody lost to a DK. It's very funny. I'm curious to see the, the bracket run that Cody makes tomorrow. Hopefully it gets stopped by Wally. That's my goal. I want Wally to. I really want Wally to Cody. I'm gonna send Wally a message actually. Send Wally a. You go, go. When does um Cody play more? I think it was later on. Woo! Great missile. Holy shit. That was good. I love watching Ruben. Oh, the slide off works. Gets 10%, goes back to ledge. That's fine. Gets 20%, goes back to ledge. That's fine. I think you shouldn't play that close to the ledge versus Samus. I think you can just you can just keep her in the corner. You don't have to play that risky. And now you're dead. Yeah. You should be. No. Still, that was quite risky. Yeah. It'll Should've happen again. Dead. Yeah, it's Kaya's been really risky around the ledge, which I don't like. You don't have to in this matchup. You really just don't. I'm pretty sure we've seen sets of like Spacey's losing to Ruben or just other Samus because of that. Yeah, around the ledge. Yeah, you can't. Ruben's like the only one that's good around the ledge too. Um, that's an, oh, Gulu's not bad actually. Oh, Gulu's are right around the ledge. If Gulu beats Sock, I'll laugh so hard. I love like how Kai just knows when he can come in after the animation and get a punish. Yeah, it's really good. We're still challenging Samus to the ledge, and we're dead. Not directly because of that, but in large part because of that. It never happens. I guess and like we've got spot dodge down smash. However, no follow up. Yeah, sorry. I know it feels bad just like letting like yellow players just do their thing. You just kinda can. I know, but like I can understand why. Yeah. I understand why, it's just not that good. You just gotta you just gotta let him back up. It's fine. And then like pressure the keep keep the sense in the corner I think is a lot more effective than like trying to pressure on the left. Which I think Kai is starting to realise. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Yeah. A little, a little bit more space, and then try to get a coming up instead of like actually challenging like the grab and the refresh and the um, the fair. Kind of like what our man used to say to me, like I'd be up to stock him so more, and he'd be like, "Your last condition is doing something stupid, like getting grabbed near ledge and dive." Yep. And I think about that a lot. Yeah. Seeing games like these. Yeah, lost conditions like a really important concept that people don't think of enough about. Where it's like, just think about how you can lose this game and don't do that. Well, obviously, like, Ruben could just, like, out oh, time. Yeah. Like, that could happen. Like, he can generally just pop Ooh. off. That was nice. Good job, Ruben. Trend the ledge and then, like, the full wave dash in to get the forward smash. I expect a down smash. Ooh, not getting the power shield, but going all the way up in the air with those. That SDI. Better SDI than I have. I am shit. True. Nice. Oh, I expect a shield grab there. <gasps> oh, what a grab! Oh, what a down smash! I'm so scared. Can we get can we come up the corner? No, we can't. Oh my god, the double lasers almost got fucking owned. <laughs> Alright. What happens at this ledge? And the back air happens at this ledge. Very smart. That's good. 
not that, the other one. There we go. I did it! Woo! Woo! Are we waiting on any new games? What? How did um, Riz Scrandle go? No, that's okay. I can't see. You want me to. Yeah, can you invest? Can you investigate, Caleb, how Riz Scrandle went? Thank you. It's okay. He's not doing anything. <laughs> I love Samus down here. It's like a stomp of cooler. Two one to Zara? Alright, cool. I wish we got that in stream. That's okay. Well, it comes a time a little bit. Yeah, sad. yeah, we do. I want to get out fucking out of here. We're gonna be out here early, it's 9 30. No, it might be 9. I uh, know, I've seen tournaments like these last for like three hours. Oh, don't tell me that. Yo, it's true. I lost to Ems after he stayed up to like 4am in the morning wrestling when I like went to bed early to get a good night's sleep and since then I've given no shits about Tony Crop. <laughs> well, you know what, we're having fun now. That reminds me of Camp Firefox, how you traded like... Runes that was Firefox. <laughs> oh. that, was, that was the tournament where, yeah, I traded runes with you, so I got a good sleep, <laughs> and then I uh, woke up and I lost to Rupert and Emps. Rupert and Emps, man. Those I'm like a gamers. human being. I'm not a human being. I'm a fake human being. I mean, yeah. Thanks, Cal. Thanks, Cal. Well, we agreed. You're a pretty monster. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> she loves it. I call her pretty. Nice and pretty. And so cute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but only I pretty subhuman is like perfect, actually. I love, that's like my favorite description of me. I'm like one of the few people that can get away with saying that. Yeah. It has so much love attached to it that I can't forget it. Think of any, any other okay. <laughs> yeah. Good, good foretell. Really good foretell. Oh, needed to be anything else than normal get up there. And we've lost. Just one little edge guard not going exactly how we wanted it, and we're gone. It's been like close as hell games, actually. Did you. You beat Ruben in bracket, right? Yeah, you did. Monkey. Album. The homie star. Alright, we're bringing. That was uh, from last game. Wow. When Ruben just killed himself. <laughs> oh, Kai's so generous. Kai wants a good set. By uh, as 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 said by the oh my god and like oh my god I'm so happy this is a close <laughs> and intense set that I'm playing right now. Well, Kai just well, wants more melee. Oh my god, melee is such a cool game. <laughs> See, I'm just finishing Kai's thoughts for you guys. <gasps> oh, that's Samus Crabs. <laughs> I love Samus Crabs. Why is it? It's goaded. Wait, you can like grab that lane to the animation? Uh, yeah. What the fuck? I uh, yeah. It's a, it's a wacky, it's a wacky girl. It doesn't work, but sometimes it does. Ooh. I don't like these recoveries, and that's gonna be the set? No! I almost put it in. Oh, I love it! He did the wall jump thing! Not the right spot for it, but he did the wall jump thing. I think if he did the wall jump back here, it would've oh, worked. Oh, this man. I don't Good night. Yeah, I think the wall jump back here would've worked out. Well, there you go. Well done, Kai. Damn, that's crazy. I was kind of half expecting Kyle. Alright, Kyle, let's game. Half expecting Kyle to steer again just for another game. <laughs> Guess who was so close to throwing that one away? This guy. Your boy KZ. Alright, um, yeah, it's your boy Kaiser on the microphone. We got Kyle and we got, uh, the crowd on streams. Yahoo. Let's do. Yo. You've got. Might be Caleb. Yep, Caleb. Yep, uh, 
Uh, yeah, you two can play off stream now. Stadium for game one. Let's do it. Um, so we have Carl on the Daisy. Yeah, that tracks. How's the audio, guys? Do I need to turn the game or the microphone up or down? Let me know. Let me know, and I'll change it for you. Audio is good, is it, everyone? Okay. Audio sounds good, lovely. Thank you. Magical thing. Appreciate it. Okay. Um, yeah, so. We've been seeing this um, Peach Dude between these two a little bit lately, you're not gonna lie. Doosh. Okay. Um, what to talk about here? I'm so thirsty, by the way. <laughs> Hell no. I have not been watching that. Alright, even game so far, but Carl's taking heaps of damage here. Almost too much damage, some may say. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't have that much time to watch uh, Tournament Live anymore. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Unfortunately though, Red is just a bit too good in this matchup. Oh, but we got the stitch on for Kyle. This is good news. But that's gonna be it for game one. I was looking alright, right at the start of the set, but then, yeah, McLeod just sort of put away with it. Ready, Not much you can do there, and we're going to Stadium, both of them, sorry, Stadium, Final Destination, both of them pull a turn at the same time. And we already have a scuffle right in the center.
Great grab from McLeod. And doing really well on this edge guard, actually. Alright, Kyle comes in with the fair, but the trade is going to mean that McLeod's going to still be in most of the control here. Most of the control here. Um, now it is crazy, it's 7.13pm and uh, everything else has wrapped up for the evening. It is just melee in the building right now. So we're all just laying around for this tournament to happen. Still, neither of them have actually closed out the stock, so it's actually turning out like really good for Kyle at the moment. Nice, good trade, that's gonna do it. Takes the first stock. Cloud not biting there, but the power shield into clean dash attack punish, that was insane. Probably the most, I don't know, cracked out punish I've seen all day, if I'm being honest. That was really well played. Oh no. We really thought that the dance match was gonna like poke there, but nothing. Zero Silch Nada today, it seems. Trying to play here, and it's really even at the moment. Cloud's got some good pressure here. Cloud's got to stay on the ball. Nice. All right. F throw is not going to kill. I'm just getting worried there for a second. But McLeod's going to start pulling ahead, and the stitch is on deck. Hold on to it for a little bit, but now Kyle's got it. It dropped from the dash attack, uh, and it's out of play completely. But it's okay, McLeod is still running away with this now. Uh, I love the little tenet games that we play. Nice. That looks strong here. It's good to see. Oh my god, that was so scary. Oh my god. <laughs> That's that's insane. Both of the turnips like clanked and then it rose up and hit the hit the peach that was floating. It was I've literally never, never seen that. Oh my god, the way that they're bouncing is just working out from the cloud every single like every single turnip that gets thrown. Alright, we're gonna play this out nice and slow. I don't know what move that was. Might have been nair yeah, or up there, I couldn't tell. Yeah, McLeod's starting to lock in a bit now. We see her moving and breathing. Down throw. Great now. I, yeah, we have a float still. Quarter in the corner there. Ah, oh, but that fair's gonna beat them now that got like stuff on the approach. Okay. That's calling out all these like little holes in Kyle's defense now. It's not looking too bad for him, but I don't know. Wow, that fair just was completely airborne. Just like a total whiff. <laughs> Crazy that we've gone to one stock each and it's like still like three minutes left in this match. Ah, uh, but that roll in. 
not going to die just yet. We are Peach on the opposite side. They're so creative with these, like, uh, turn up grabs at the moment. It's looking really nice. But that net's going to do it. McLeod goes 2 0 up. Looking good so far. There's the rest of the set's going to be on stream. We're going to have one of the losers' quarters on stream, and then, yes, the rest will be on stream. Um, we have uh, Caleb and Nangs playing off stream at the moment, so that is what's going on right now. Watto 100, thanks for following. But we are back on FD here, and we're having a bit of fun with it. So far these um, first stocks from Kyle are looking really nice, and then yeah, McLeod starts locking in. You've got to lock in. Kyle's playing the turn of game pretty well so far. Jab, jab. Two nares from McLeod. Turn up. Gonna be the edge guard. Yes. Floating out there with the nair was just so nice. Cutting off all these. Cutting off everything on that edge guard, actually. That was very, very clean. Very, very clean. Harder and harder for Carl to make something happen here. Is there anyone out there? Because it's getting harder and harder to breathe. Anyone know that Matchbox 20 song? I think it's Matchbox 20. One for the old heads, I suspect. Crazy because despite it all, this is still ending up being like a stock for stock type of game. Even though I think McLeod has the upper hand on like uh, the neutral game movement, it just doesn't seem always out of uh, Kyle's hands here. It's just sort of, you know, one thing at a time. You know, one hit at a time, one thing at a time. Bum, 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 bum. And now we see McLeod starting to pull away with it right now. You see it pulling much more turnips than Kyle is. Just playing the turn game really, really solid. Look at that, just in his face with the turn up, like bouncing off the shield and then popping out. Right in there. Wow, what a crazy up there from Kyle. I wonder what's going on here. Why are they just dropping it?
Sapphire? There we have it. Oh, what the hell is going on here? What the heck just happened? What the heck just happened? What did I do? What did I do? Oh my god. Oh my god, what did I do here? Is it this one? Okay, yeah, that that was it. I don't know what I did. Okay, it's we uh Okay, um let's do if um they're still going, let's do you and Rosario now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I don't know what's going on over there. It must still be going. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I did just before. I've been trying to get this like commentary cam to work, but it's just not. And I'm going a bit mental. We got I right, said so this is losers quarters now. Is it the cable? Ready? Go. First game, Kyle. Looking good so far. Ready? Go. Aww. 
All right, Tish. He says he's very upset with you, and he doesn't want to talk to you right now because he moved to Melbourne. So you're, you're splitting the scene apart. <laughs> oh. Tish was the glue to South Australian Melee. Yeah, we knew it. In a way. Just brought... It's just a vibe that balanced it out. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like a... It's just like a much more like... It's just different, like a different chill vibe that sort of just balanced out the scene. This really was a word. We're falling apart over here. So, I'm like running on turbo empty today. Yep. I had cereal and some and some nut snack and I'm to now I'm totally out. Huh. I'm just, oh, I'm no. just screwed. But that's Don't right. have the little granola, the, the granola Yeah, those are, I, I ate them all. No, they're them gone. All. It's so over for me. That's actually so over. I'm under eating today because I was there like crazy yesterday. Yeah, right. Right. Well, even though, this is the Riz stage, for yes, sure. Yes, it's the Riz stage. He likes to think it's Dreamland, it's not. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that stage is not great in this matchup. Okay, tried for the up air, but missed it. My device, uh, Riz asked me, like, what to do on the Peach matchup, and I said, you got to link two moves together. That's solid move, advice. You have to you have to have the intention of it going into more moves. Yeah, look, solid advice. I think a lot of people could benefit from that. Pulling ahead now, that's good. Okay, nice. Good pressure. Oh my god, that was. Oh no! I, don't think, I think that wasn't meant to be a fair, but it worked out anyway. Yeah, it was a fair, just a uh, float cancel before it, you know, actually came out. Yeah, he just landed with it. I need to do those MP fairs a lot more, actually. They're like, especially with Snarf, it's really They're tricky. Uh oh. Yeah, that would just happen with Riz. You can just kind of wait for it to miss a laser. Wait for it to mess up. Like, literally, just kill itself. Yeah. Like, in a lot of spots. You can kind of just, like, nice. sit at the oh. edge of her range, and she'll either, like, bomb an aerial, or she'll screw up a laser. Or she'll laser right in your face. That's, That's pretty, crazy. Pretty reliable flow chart. That's actually crazy. What? I watch her play and I'm like, this fox looks slow. Yeah. And you just don't expect that from people who are not playing on a game controller. Yeah. I don't know. It's just not what I expect to like feel when I'm playing. I'm I think the nice. big part of that is Riz is one of the uh, like one of the few foxes you see who's like focus internally is to not get hit more than it is to hit. Yeah, right. I think you'll see like a rectangle fox, and, you're like, I, and that's a problem I had with rectangle for ages. And that's something I only realized trying to grind out like movement and play slower recently, where I'm just like I just it encourages you to press buttons. Like, rectangle just like, yeah. it feels better, and then you have like all the people telling you about how broken all the buttons pressing is. So you just want to be pressing buttons all the time. It turns you out it's actually well. not that good. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, true. It's not, it isn't that good, but also... If you don't know why you're pressing buttons, it's just not... You might as well be pressing nothing, it's a lot better. Yeah. I've been taking a lot of buttons out of my gameplay, and I immediately feel the difference. Oh, uh, is this gonna kill? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. That was good. 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 That was consistent. Mm. Very nice lip, way to end lip, that. Lip. That is a big cheese right there. That is a big cheese right now. 1-1. One, one. So we're going to probably go to FD here, I would hope. Yep. Yeah, we got we to gotta go FD. You got to go FD. So I see him going down. It's like, yeah. Oh, Riz is punished. It's just like not good enough for the chain grab to not. Ooh, oh, nice. nice. Yeah, I need to get a lot better at those, actually. That's something Kyle still does better than me, is the um, the run cancel down smash stuff is all the punish. I'm just oh, being more aware out of run. It's actually so juicy. Yeah, it is. This is good. It's like, I'm just not as like aware, like in my head. I don't know. Wow, about. that's so upsetting. Nice. It's that up powered right through it. It's crazy, like... Oh, my God. That, that little good. drop float into, like, dashboard roll good. read. I love Kyle. Kyle's that like, was good. <laughs> like, it's really cool how you can, like, watch Kyle. I just, like, learn little neutral things still. It's like... Just, like, the call-outs? Mm. Not even the call-outs and, like, the movement. Oh, no. Just, like, how he makes decisions in neutral. It's, like, yeah. really good. Way above his level. He just doesn't hit 
Yeah, that's just how what he's learned to get better at the game. What a recovery, nice. actually. That was a really solid first stock, um, and also even very solid for Kyle to hold on there. Hey, little guy. Little guy, and he's gone. Look at this. Just not taking the bait. Up air does not come out. Or, yeah, he's going to play slow. Air. It's good. Play a little corner princess. Dude, so There's 50. the run cancel. Yeah, the run cancel down smash. Just being much more... I, yeah. I need to steal that. Because <laughs> I don't, I don't, like... I don't play that Oh my god, look at this. Out. Yeah. Riz is not doing anything. Oh, that was good. Nice, Riz. That was That's a really good. nice up there. Really nice up there. I liked it. Yeah, we, have a very, we have a lot of patient sets up ahead, actually. Yeah, we have. Oh, we have potentially um, winner of this into Ruben and then. Yeah, and then me, you're up next. Yeah. It's just SA, oh. to be honest. Do we even have, like, an aggressive player left? I feel like we don't. No. 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 We just don't have one. No. There's, they're all gone. <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> they're all gone. Just running over everyone in my head, even like people who still play but they don't come out. The stuff, closest like, person might be like Woody. <laughs> no, Woody and Brad. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Unironically. I, I didn't even think. Yeah. Like I was just running through everyone in my head. I'm like, huh. Huh. Black Shadow doesn't play aggro. Nope. Yeah, we really, like everyone, everyone plays slow invasion. Look at this. Nice cat, Davin. Yep. It's just the say. I like what I'm seeing at the moment, though. Yeah, it's good. Especially from Riz. I don't know, did the, um... Nice, nice. You can tell she's been, like, practicing, like, this dash dance sort of thing. That's good. Because I can just watch it. There's, there's a lot less... It's a lot less stubborn than it used to be. Mm. She used to just, like, dash dance and circles and it wouldn't, like, achieve anything. But now I can tell, like, she's actually looking to base up. And, like, That's actually good. thinking about it. Like, even then, it was a lot better than what she used to. I was watching her on Friday, I think it was, and I'm like, the one thing I want a little bit more of is just, like, the full hop. Just the fox full hop is, uh, it's just too good to leave on the table. Wait, really didn't have jump there? That's crazy. Um, <gasps> yeah, I guess when you use up crazy. it's hard to keep <laughs> your up <upbeat. laughs> crap, <laughs> Nice. 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 Just yes. take it all the way. Take that all the way. You oh. need a pummel. Oh, good tech. Back air. Back air. Nice. Yeah, wow. nice. Great job. I thought Riz was winning that game. But then For a split second, yeah. Ran I was, like, I was the totally about it. But yeah, that was not Riz anymore. Alrighty. Game four. Riz down a game. I guess we'll see. I hope we see Yoshi's, but I don't think that's going to happen. We've already... It's, uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe she even goes to FD here. Because I don't like going to Dreamland. All things considered, I just don't. Um, Battlefield's fine. Battlefield will be fine. all right here, I feel. Oh. I think it's Battlefield, to be honest. Oh, it's Dreamland. This is a loser for, the, the stage is the uh, this decision. Old dinner fans. Not a fan of this one. <laughs> <laughs> Me personally, I go for dinner. And right now, dinner is Kyle. Let's go, Kyle. <laughs> Let's go, Kyle. Let's go, Kyle. <laughs> Why am I yeah, I have not eaten in. Oh, what was the last time I ate? Uh oh. Six hours, probably? Oh no. Seven. Yeah, do you remember when Riz would go on like a 120 spiking ping and like playing BBs, camping top laps? <laughs> what a rodent, my lord. That's some monstrous behavior. I kind of don't want to see what Riz is going to do with the Ruben. It's alright, we won't, we won't see it. Fingers crossed. We won't have to. Because I'm a dinner fan right now. Look at this. <laughs> yes! I love Kyle. Yes! That was, like, Kyle. Yeah. That was so good. That would work on any Victorian player. That's all, that's all I'm going to say. Just run up. Every Victorian player gets over there. Oh! 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 Oh, oh actually worked. Oh, so oh. close. Crazy that we'll the stock is still being held. We are on Dreamland. 
by a decision of uh, <laughs> on Rosara Flame. <laughs> yeah, counterfeiting here is madman behavior. Just a little bit. I don't know. Not my not my favorite thing in the world. Will it work on New South Wales players? Um, I'm trying to think of it. Yes. Oh, some. New South Wales players actually play in the exact same way. Where they'll like wait and then they'll just attack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like the, the South Australians will wait and then wait. And then uh, mm. South Australians will wait and then wait. The Victorians will just attack. And New South Wales players will wait and then attack. It's like uh, everyone in New South Wales is playing the, the Bizarro game from like uh, two months ago. Because I could reliably wait for Rosario to come in and bomb an air. Yep. Ooh! Ooh. Oh, disgusting. The dare? nair, like, the nair clanked and we kept the turn. We actually yeah. covered we covered our body here with the dare oh, and we reacted to the downbeat angle, but it's not going to be enough, but we take that for some. That was a good flow chart there. See, so Riz will miss a laser or do the randomest spot dodge all the time and now we'll win. Riz might be scary when she stops doing that. And I'm like, a lot, a lot of <laughs> I love, yeah, I love our Watch out. Watch out. That's scary. <laughs> nice. Rob Nah. That's it. Good job. Hold on. <laughs> awesome. See? That's so awesome. What? <laughs> we got Crash Cancel Shield. Yeah, that that's gross. pretty normal. Because um, Kyle was slow on it. Mm. I, I, I do happening. wonder who Riz's favorite fox is. I want to say... I'm, I think it actually might be hacked. So I'm going to... Oh, yeah. 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 It makes sense. I don't think you... Oh, nice. Oh, I have to ask after this. I don't think you buy the box without, like, you know, being somewhat of a fan. Yeah. Just a little bit of an admirer. We are light shooting on the top platform, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, the red out of us. Uh, yeah, I remember that. I love that bit. That was really funny, by the way. Took me a while. Took me a while, but I got it eventually. Nice. Oh, the Sunday Riz? Not, was not aware of that. Was not ready for the week. So it's crazy how we spent like almost a minute of uh, Riz maneuvering and shooting lasers only for like 17%. Yeah. I it's kind of just a little out. upsetting. But you gotta, yeah. See, like, I think it's fine to do just to get your like above 8% uh, damage. Um, yeah. Like, I respect it. Oh, nice. Nice. You've got to have like a plan with it. If yeah. you're just shooting for the sake of shooting, you're going to lose. But if you're shooting to like make them do something or to like change the pace of the match, oh, it's probably pretty good. Yeah, you know what? That's interesting. I never feel get that feeling about like Rizla's lasers and stuff. Like, I never get, I'm like, yeah, I'm it's never like, in I'm that situation now. where I'm like, ah, oh, they want me to do something. <laughs> I don't think they actually do want me to do something when they're shooting lasers, right? It's just like, I feel like Riz is like figuring out human behavior. Yeah, in the sense yeah. of like, I'm gonna do this thing for a while and see what happens. Yeah, sure. And I'm gonna do this thing for a while and see what happens. We haven't kind of like put together, mm. like in our head, these concepts aren't links to like what I'm doing yeah. or what they're doing, but we're just like, we're learning. We're observing and we're learning. Let's go dinner. Oh, the that's a dinner time. have been crazy. <laughs> that's the song my song. We've had so many six-minute games today, actually. We, me and Ruben had a four-minute Yoshi's game. Yeah, like that's that. fucked up. But that's gonna be it. All right, let's do it. Let's we do have winners' guy. finals now, baby. Let's just go dinner. Let's go dinner. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we have myself and Miranda up next. Yahoo! Yahoo! Let's do it. I know it. no one hop on comms, so you get to hear my shitty ass fucking solo commentary that's probably gonna make you worse at the matchup than anything else.
I do two again, monkey. <laughs> you know, this is the kind of warm ups I like to do. Down smashes. Done ironically because I'm still so bad at like doing a down smash and then immediately doing another one. Or like after running, doing one. Because sometimes you need to go for that. Oh no, pressing the C stick down kind of hard. Not gonna lie. You see, it's actually good that Kai's is doing now because it gets out of the way so that he can just, you know, do his ledgies and not flub like that. Although my favorite thing to do is Peach when I have like a minute to dick around because like I know the outcome of the set when I lose. Because I just like to um, I like to try and pull a turnip but like with the momentum so I'm sliding off while the turnip animation is going through. Like I've done a bunch, it's really fun. Oh, I, oh okay. I was about to like be like I should probably change it so it says Blanc Kai. But does say that. Shout out to the gamers that make my life easier. Uh, let's just do one. Yeah, there we go. If you're gonna use the daisy, oh, you better have it show as that. You know, the ledge cancel turn up pull actually goes very hard. It's it's useless like most of the time. Good for Kai. That's that's great to see him like just take a stock really early. You need that. But um The problem with trying to go for that tech, like in an actual game, is um it's decently hard to actually get the right momentum to do like ledge cancel turn up pull. So you're more likely to even just do it too early or too late. And like I'm not gonna lie, it's not even the flashiest thing. Like, it's cool, I love it. And I like finding scenarios where it's actually better than, like, other options. But I would not recommend going for it unless, like, you know you're gonna win and you're just there the style. In which case, you should go for it because it is cool. I love it. I love that fucking shit. These downers. These downers are doing something. Oh, I know that feeling. <laughs> Actually, I have a tech that I've grinded a bit. Um, not for Peach, obviously, that'd be stupid. Um, I mean, right now, my Sean's of Fox are pretty mediocre, but for a period of time, I could, like, kind of reliably get, like, Sean's. Like, different Sean's, like, short Sean's and middies. And maybe even some ladies. And that's, like, that's my favorite saw a tech to grind out with the character I don't play the game with. As well as like um unlike like the punch or on the training modes like getting under like Marth down to it. <laughs> it just um doing side B with Fox, that was my spacey choice for this. Like getting under it. Whether it be with the Sean or just like with the god here spacing. <laughs> it was fun practicing, but like it's definitely something I don't really have it in me to consistently do. It's it's a fun party trick though. Just like the uh, turn of cancel. <laughs> Honestly, that's one of the party tricks I used to say I have. Then um, like shining a spacey when they do side B. Um, especially when they get hit off stage. Like that's like the coolest thing in my eyes. <laughs> Even though like sometimes it's less snazzy than it looks. But I still really love that. Oh my god. Gaming. That's a Kai. Nice, nice. <laughs> The Heartbreaker stage.
Yeah, see, um, against Fox, like, the stage is still pretty good for Peach, but at least you can say. Unless you're getting, like, chain grabs. Like, Fox still kind of feels oppressive. At least this is my eyes. You know, I could be wrong. But, like, in the matchup, like this matchup right here, this is just, like, the worst stage for Falco. Like, I don't think there's anything he gains at all from the stage. It's just nothing good. Yeah. Like, I've played, like, I've played FD games against Death Clear and it's Fox, and it just. I don't know, it's just hard getting um, the chain grabs sometimes because you have to actually grab Fox or do a move that leads into grab and it's really hard but it's at least against Falco like sometimes the opportunity more presents itself like maybe you get a power shield laser or maybe like Falco just misspaced something after laser or you just like play the 50-50 and one like it just feels like easier to get chain grabs against Falco or maybe maybe that's more due to him and just like being more comfortable in the matchup with his spacey. Oh no. Kai, no! Oh. Just to get those out. Yeah, that's a real uh oh moment. So it, it, it's gonna happen. <laughs> it's now all the legends. Look, listen. Listen, we all we all SD, alright? We all We all fuck up. You know, even if some of us play a floaty, it shouldn't be SDing at all, but still. It's gonna happen. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh. This is the problem. Peter's a high percent. Obviously, like, like a lot kills her, but also that means that she's not gonna fucking approach at all until she's really comfortable. So you have to approach, and then that means like Peach gets to be as defensive as she wants to be, which is really bad if you're not the Peach player because it's actually hard to get through her walls. If like you're on point. Like obviously, obviously you can, I'm not saying like Pete should be playing defensively all the time, but just have a lot of options, like backing away. Like just stuff like wave dash back, or just like taking a moment to see like what you generally do and I think poorly. Which is like generic, I know, but it's just something that Peach does really well. I guess because like like the little floats she can do, like the options out of shield. Like, unironically, she's probably the most horrifying character to have to like kill when you're a stock down. And she's a high percent, just because like you can definitely get stuff that will just like link, like guaranteed or like near guaranteed, at least like the shark, but. Getting there is actually rough. Any factor in like, you know, someone pumped in the game like McLeod, it's like, fuck. I just think about that when I see like McLeod or like any Peach at like, like a higher percent. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you have to approach. <laughs> it was bad, doesn't it? I did say the commentator thing. But oh, we could say more commentator things. So I'm not sure how many commentator things I can be saying right now. I guess besides the Cloud won that game more. Is that too cringe? Type one in the chat if I'm getting too cringe for y'all. 
I'm trying my best. It's just me out here. Because I'm like the fucking six also gamers I can see in my field of vision. Minus Kale, but I don't know where he is. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'll have more cringe. But um out the gamers that I can see. I assume Caleb's still here somewhere. They're just all on the couch. Having a gay old time. Not joining me here. So it's up to me to like man the comms and like try to say something. <laughs> I don't think Caleb is napping. I I think he's just soul searching. I know he might be outside kicking the rock. There's like a non zero percent chance that is what's happening. I'm not gonna lie, I've been commentating, but I haven't really been watching, so when I do actually look with my eyeballs instead of my hands. I'm seeing like neutral and I'm like, wow, Kai's good at this game. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that spot is just really rough. There's only so much you can do with Power Soul at that point. I, you have to kind of just hope. Like they don't really act accordingly, or you're better at bluffing than they are at looking at the screen. It's also kind of a mix up, but like. You definitely never really win, you just get back to being able to play the game as Peach. Like, that's how you win in that situation. I always forget about Dark Throw Down Smash. I should probably think about that more, but I probably would have gone for up throw and like something with the platform. I can slow power power soul and ledge? Friday? Probably. That sounds like me. I think um if I remember, like I was just like wanting to play more carefully. Like it's what you probably should do, like if you're the better player and like if it's like close, I can also want to be more patient and careful instead of like risking all. Oh god, this is tight. I'm scared. Oh, Oh no. Yeah. This is just unfortunate. Actually, fucked <laughs> That was fucked. <laughs> Who do I got? Who do I got? <laughs> Who do I got? Who do I got? <laughs> Ruben? Hey.
Where's the time? You do hit the woo. And Cal gives me the woo back, it's the best. There's something about these players. Could be anyone, Michael. Could be anyone. Take your guess. That's the spirit. This would be like... I could see Kyle... This would be... Uh, I don't know. I don't think Kyle's played Samus since the last time these two played. And Ruben is not bad at this matchup, like at all. Monkey fan. But, but, we say that, but Kyle has a stitch face. Oh, the uh, the uh, AI gonna, the AL shield gonna put in work there. Oh, and that's gonna almost be it. Okay, we can get another one. We can get another one. Maybe we don't even need another one. Good catch up. Carol's so randomly fast sometimes. What was that Waveland back? Getting schmoovy. Nice. Is that the stock? No. Almost. I, got, I was so hypey going into this and it's been like 30 seconds and I'm like, oh my god, there's so much more. <laughs> so much more of this set to be played. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, uh, now I'm fading. We give my, uh, we'll probably have intermittent commentary on this one where uh, I fade in and out of existence as things happen. Alright, I'll update back a bracket for you, Michael. Just for you. Oh, is it 3 1? It was 3 1. There you go, Michael. Done.
things are happening. Mm. Smash Up's actually insanely fun to play once you're like into it. It's like not that fun. Um, Peach wins pretty handedly, but there's a lot Samus can do. Samus just has to work a bit harder. Um, but yeah, no, it's not that fun until you get into the Peach Samus mindset. Yeah, I know, I thought it was funny, Michael. But it's like, when you're just playing it after playing like spacey after spacey after spacey, it gets feels really frustrating because you just get hit for going in. So like after like a game or two, or if you're already good at going to that mindset just like off the bat, like your mindset just adjusts and it becomes like really fun. Because it's a really interactive matchup. And there's a lot of like interesting punish dynamics. The neutral is super interesting. Um, it's just a really interesting matchup. It's just very different. And you need like a different mindset than how you approach like every other matchup. It's a similar thing with Puff, but this is more interesting than Puff because you have this a punish game. And stage matters. I think the problem with Puff, honestly, um, isn't even the lack of punish game. Um, I think the reason the Puff matchup kind of sucks is just because uh, stage doesn't matter, but especially for the Puff. Um, in this matchup, if you have Samus in the corner, it's a big advantage. And, like, you play a lot around that, and then there's a lot of spots that are, like, good for you. Whereas in, like, Puff Peach, it's, there's not... There's not really the same dynamic. Whereas, like, you don't get anything from pushing Puff into a certain spot. So it's like, this matchup, like, so you're... It's not just... There's a lot more we pointless waiting, where in this matchup, it's like, your decisions matter a lot more. And it's the same for both characters. It's similar in, like, the Marth matchup, where it's like, it's a bit slow. But both characters hate being in the corner so much, so like taking stage is such like a big priority, and then like pulling turnips is like this own little mini game. There's like so many interesting little things going on, and like little advantages you can make, even if from the punish isn't that crazy. And then like sharking's really cool in this matchup, where there's like a lot of like keeping the Samus in like disadvantage and like keeping the Peach in disadvantage is like a really like that. It's such a cool mini game where you like do these little baits on how the Peach comes down. And same with the Samus. And it's just so satisfying to like find those openings. Ruben's looking pretty comfortable here. Yeah, that was a fantastic grab actually. Holy shit. Yeah, Ru Ruben's grabs might unironically be the best in the world. Like, straight up. Yo, I love Samus Beeps. I miss Luigi sounds because you'd like yip yip yahoo wahi and then they'd be dead. It is like it's just like you're it's just making the stupidest sounds in the middle of your like zero to death combo and the spacey feeling that is beautiful. Fuck no tears. Samus is sick. What the hell? Why Samus hate? Get rid of Puff. Fuck Puff. How could you just fix Puff? Three jumps, maybe? Probably three jumps. If Puff had three jumps, she'd probably be fine. Yeah, we'll give you... Wait, 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 wait. Can we get the right half of Ruben's face? There'll be a lot of... There'll be a lot... Uh, I wanna... There'll be, there'll be a bit of blank space. There you go. For all, for all right half of Ruben's face, enjoy us. He's kind of sneaking back into frame. We'll just put him in frame. You know what? Any all of Ruben's face enjoyers in chat? I personally am an all of Ruben's face enjoyer. God, I love the Hello Kitty cap. It's so good. Good to see you on the side of justice, Donut. Really is. Stay pretty boy. I love the SA fits. SA kind of goes hard with it. 
I do. Nothing, nothing will ever compare to the Muscat jeans and black shirt, though. It's a classic and it's missing. Every week there's no Muscat. I, I just need a jeans. Wait, no, I am jeans and black shirt. Wait, I'm Muscat fitting, but I have a jacket. Doesn't count. Kind of counts. I just love mascot. So many people in this state that I love. I'd love to see Davin here a bit more, it'd be cool. Get a Davin 20. But you get Davin and Muscat for a 20. They're so good, man. Like, getting, like, Ruben, Kai, Davin, myself together for a 20. It's just, they're good tournaments. They're, like, really, really fun tournaments to play in and watch. Um, he should be coming Phantom. Oh, he is coming Phantom, to my knowledge. He needs to stop playing the game. I need more Moscow. Cool. Big bear. I'm sorry, Kyle. You're unfortunately not dinner this game. Ruben is dinner. Big Ruben fan for this, this game. A good time for an ad break. A stitch is gonna hit. I saw, I saw the stitch, and I'm like, I looked at the trajectory, and I looked at where the Samus was, and I'm like, mm -hmm. uh, we just depends. Somewhere in Hindley Street. I normally get Indian, or well, like sometimes like KFC or whatever. Just Hindley Street generally. Kind of feel like KFC tonight. I mean, you're getting. Twisters. And they're not bad. They're just like chicken, vegetable, and bread. You know, I'm down for that. Alright, we're, okay. we're back after jumping through the window to get back here Woo! just in time for the end of Hopefully. I'm going for I'm going for dinner. Unfortunately that's not Kyle this set. Kyle will have to forgive me. Let's hear it for dinner, everybody. Dinner, huh. dinner, dinner, dinner. I have a question. Mm -hmm. In your childhood. Were you brought up in a household that would say tea instead of dinner? Um. Cause, yeah. Because we we, yeah, were, I was. we were back in period. No, I was too. Dinner dinner was uh patched in. Later oh, I think because I I spent times at like like multiple different households. Yeah. And some of them used dinner, some of them used tea. Yeah. So I was I was I was micro switching. We're already so adjusting. so glad to hear. Yeah, wow. tea's tea's a real thing. My dad used tea a lot. Yeah. But then my mom side time. Used, used dinner. I love tea time. Tea time is tea time just sounds good. It's just yeah. That good was a great hand. Good man. Unfortunately dinner falling Ooh. behind here. Taking more percent. We don't like to see that. Uh, is this the second game on FD? Yeah. Okay. Nice! Oh that was oh, clean. That was so good. That was clean. Not gonna kill though. Rough. It's gonna shoot. Oh, that was yeah. kind of good though, but yeah. Yeah, that was good. You used to be a little bit faster. Tiny, a bit faster. Oh. Welcome back, chat. Nice. Oh, Great big foot. Great up tilt. Big foot. It's okay. Oof! <gasps> big 25% for dinner. The three piece combo is getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to dinner to bag us a bucket deal at the end of this one. Yeah, Ruben's clean off ledge. This this yeah. uh, this tournament in general, but like this set, he's been good. 
He has a really good ledge. And then I say and misses the first AI I've seen him miss, which is funny. Well, look, you can't win them all. We can't. It's just, it's just, it's just that I'm just, you just say it and it's gone. Sorry, Ruben. Don't miss this one, otherwise I'll be a liar. There you go, he got it. He's got it. He's totally got this one, surely. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to do one more. Oh no, we didn't. Now we got grabbed and dinner has failed. <laughs> dinner has failed. It's fine. It's okay. Kyle only needs one more game and then he'll be dinner. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Stadium though is gonna be tough. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm sorry, Michael, I'm sorry. It's always funny though, we we end up in this situation so often where we're the last people in the room and then um, Pokemon Stadium music is just uh, has no chill. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't. It's like everyone else in the room is like morose. Yep. <laughs> and the Pokemon Stadium music does not care. It's like hyping you up. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It's exciting piece of noise. Ruben really using the stage here. Yeah. He's like, Ruben. Kyle doesn't really know how to interact with the platforms very well. That's true, yeah. It's not a... Ruben does. Big difference. Ooh. Good two hit. Those make a big difference. When you're hitting those two hits consistently versus if you're not, that's double the punishment. It's real. Good grab, better air dodge. Cheeky down smash. I told you about um, how every time I see Samus up the... <gasps> oh, that was, that was great. That's a hot, that's a hot spot. What about Samus up here? Anytime I see it, um, I have a, a almost Pavlovian response. And uh, my left, like my, entire, my entire left arm will twitch even if I'm just watching footage. That's amazing. What like, the fuck? It, it's, that, it's, it's actually trained in? Well, pretty much. Like I, ha I notice it and I like... <gasps> like sometimes I won't... Uh, if I don't notice it, it will happen. I'm like, ah, oh. that's amazing. What the fuck? <laughs> it's really cursed. That. It's honestly really cursed. And um, yeah, look. Sometimes you're watching a game, you're so into it, it just it just goes. You're there. It just goes. Yeah. But I always love the studies where it's the um the Ooh! double power shield. People like experts quotation marks at um at things are like more the parts of the brain are the same the light up are the same as if they're actually playing yeah yeah compared yeah, yeah, to yeah. like someone who's not a, it's like compared to someone who's not an expert like completely different areas of the brain light up so yo shout out to mark in chat did mark mark did you make a new <laughs> twitch account because ludeli banned you when pikachu isn't being played everyone should be asking where's That's pikachu cool. Hey, the McLeod Pikachu might come back for like one random time. Yeah, we'll see. I hope it never does. <laughs> Everyone loves him. I hate the rat. <laughs> I love the rat. You like throw them off stage, and then you like jump, and you hit the neutral button, and then you like below stage. Or you, well, you do like one. seven. You do like seven other ways to get that kill as well. Seeing Pikachu in game is more of an eye roller than uh, Mark complaining that there's no Pikachu. <laughs> and we have Bush Camp of four five two nine rating. Party of, the party six. of six. Thank you for rating. Uh, welcome to South Australia. We're about to head into losers finals of our local monthly. Unless. Unless. No, it's not really. What's up, mailing players? What's up, Bush Counter for 4 5 2 9? Oh, I'm just cheering for dinner. And right now, dinner is Ruben. Doosh, 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 doosh. Oh, what a great <laughs> dance, man. That interact. Uh, Oh, great. Oh, was that a Hang winky? On. I think that was a winky. We have no yeah. grapple. We gotta grab the ledge. Yeah. We gotta grab the ledge. No, you don't grab the ledge. Though. Really? Even with no grapple? Generally not. Especially above 100, not really right. I guess. You just sticky toe. Oh. oh, he gets so many grabs. He gets another grab. It's a dash grab this time. Yeah. All Samus's, watch how Ruben uses grab. It probably he runs the best up in the and does it. Oh, but he does not like so many other situations, it's crazy. Hmm. Like it'll like read spot dodges where they, he'll like dash dance into grab. It's oh. best uh, grab in the world, I swear to god. Yeah, you Bush Camp is saying that he was just playing Metroid, so rooting for names. <laughs> hey, same. But Dude, very different that's reasons. gonna do it. Oh, I've never seen it go that low. Yeah. Do you see the fog? Like, draw distance was fucking up? I did, actually. That was fuck. <laughs> Alright, losers finals, baby. Good luck, KP Kaiser. Yeah, watch Ruben's grabs. Like, if, if you're gonna watch anything... Oh, and punish, honestly. Just, like, simple follow-ups. 
You can learn so much. I think I think Ruben's Ruben's like the Samus I learned the most of when I was like when I when I when I play my Samus. Um, it's just like really easy to get like the simple one twos and the grabs. Those are like the two things. What should I be looking for in edge guards? What should I be looking? How do I like link my hits? How do I tech chase and how do I grab? You learn a lot. We have a uh, KB Kaiser. It's not Kyle. How do you feel about this, that, Kyle? I know. Um, Samus. I think I played, you know, as well as it could have. Like trying to remember things about the matchup and who was playing well. You should just play a set with like a, a like a online Samus one time. Yeah, I think I think I think if you play like an hour versus Samus, you'll be like you'll have like a 50% better chance of being a room. Yeah, but I'm happy I took my time because like yeah. I mean it's tall, but I'm not gonna lie. Even if you guys were like dinner, no, it fine. just inspired me to. You know, no, I, I, I know. I, I, when I say dinner, I'm like sharing yeah. for dinner, but I'm never, I'm never expecting the gameplay to change. Oh yeah, it's definitely like I said to Ruben, like, yeah, like, want to take my time since we don't play often, so, like, I, like, I'm sure I didn't do a lot of the things I'm supposed to be doing, but like, I was actively like really trying. I mean, I'm trying all the time when I'm in tournament, but like, I was really like actively going to think. Is this a thing? Is yep. this gonna work? Even if it looked like I did run into missiles. That was like, sick. I try to like at least like power shield or shield it. Yeah, I know this. The second FD game looked actually quite, quite good. There are a lot of good moments. Yeah. Just need to learn how to interact with the platforms. Yeah. That's the, that's the big thing. That's it's really white. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm aware. I think, well, I mean, I think that stage is really good feed. I, know, I think platforms ruin the game in that matchup because Samus gets to do more missiles. Well, you just throw a ton of them. She dies. It's like you actually just murder her for going to platforms. It's crazy. You just need to know how to do it. Well, you know, if these my counter pick until then, and probably still going to be one of my counter picks after. Welcome back. Yeah, I saw those little disconnect, but we we are still gaming. Stream disconnected for a sec. Oh yeah, at the end of my set, like the little. Like gray shit. Is that like when you both get hit like so far? It's when the camera, yeah, when the camera like doesn't know what to do and it like zooms out really far because you're both like opposite sides. Yeah. It's beautiful. What a beautiful game. Well, that was actually that was a fun set. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm sure he had fun because he gets to advance, but. <gasps> I had fun. Grab that? Yeah, that's it. Hold on, Ruben. Big, big opening. Big kill. I really did SDI at Tucker. Help her. Is Kev still in like, the building? Yeah, he's like around the corner being sad. Aww. I was kind of hoping he'd be like at least taking a walk outside. Yeah, he's just like on the couch being sad. I saw the message in the group chat and then I sent the emo and I like, did. You know my squawk? <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> shit, that reminds me. My, my phone was like fucking really early, like, I said yeah. fiber, and I, it, like, I think during the wrist set, so I, after. See what is that, what that's all about? Oh, I, I know, um, Haley <gasps> called. You know, oh, I should probably, I should probably check one of those. Yes! I, mean, I gotta go, I should probably check. Yeah, yeah, you gotta go. How's this, like, last hit every game? My butthole is gonna be so puckered by the end of this. <gasps> you know, yeah, it's the, it's the Samus phrase. You know that phrase. <gasps> that's like, I swear three games have ended like that, but you know. Next. Ruben's gotta get the clutch muscle back. We'll see, if we, we'll see if we can, we'll see if we can build on that in the set. <laughs> it's a good fr it makes me chuckle. Life's an icon. <laughs> That phrase is just beautiful. Because it, it, like, 
<laughs> it makes so much sense. It like like it does feel like that. Well, that's right, but also he said it in the funniest way. Aw, Ruben, finish your food. I love that four tilt. Four tilt, walk, 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 catch the fall, the four tilt. Samus is funny. Funny little, funny little girl character. The, uh, the, yeah, the mix up she plays as Samus is just like so unique to her, and, like the way she catches stuff with tilts. I don't know, there's no, there's no character that really like punishes in the way she does. It's like very unique. I think she's like one of the most unique characters actually. <sighs> Big shot boat. Oh, I can't believe that Opta didn't hit, that didn't hit. And we're gonna have to stop aeroling off the fucking ledge because it's gonna murder us. I think our grabs are really cool. I wish it was a little bit better. I wish it was like still the tether, but a bit better. Nice. Works out. Ruben's looked good and found him. Um, really needs to take this. It's just been like, I've noticed this like last one as well. Whereas I find Ruben's punish drops off a little bit um, as the tournament goes on. And then Kai is sort of, it's like, I find it's, it's much easier to stay consistent as like the bird. But the stuff you did is just, it's just about not making bad decisions. Whereas like Samus, you have to be like making good decisions actively. Yeah, we gotta we gotta find something on these these openings. Nice, there we go, and we do. But we have to finish it. Nice. No. See, it's like these are those are the. It's hard, but you have to hit them. Hi, Paris. Oh. Like, that should have been our stock like three times. But alas, it was Kai's. I'll take Al. Fellow Samus. Enjoy it. Samus Fair's amazing. Sick move. Back here, please. I don't think that kills. Weak missile. No. I'm getting so tired. Bounce. Up B. That was. Yeah. Yeah. You just gotta hit it. It's so funny when you're sent gifts, but like, it's like the Discord notification shows you like the name of the gift. So you just like imagine it. It's, sometimes it's better than what the gift actually is. Especially if it's like a shocking one. Yeah, you have to close. And Ruben was closing in set one, but none in set two. I was like, it's a hard. I know, like as a, as a Samus, like like when I play Samus, I'm like, you have to be turned on, and it's like so easy to like let the spaces live in those spots because you have to make good decisions and you have to make them fast. Grabbing ledge, nice. Kai is very used to that. Always looks so cool when she does like the the, the grab ones and the the jump. Good grab. I mean, like another spot does read. No, like very few Samus's go for that in that spot. Seems good. Probably covers roll too, covers a bunch of stuff. Nice. Up, forward smash. Back heads right there. But doesn't quite kill. 
You have to grab somehow. Oh. Nice. We finished the stuck. Now we just need to do that 12 more times. But unfortunately, Ruben is no longer my favorite child. It's Kai is now dinner. So I'm currently a Kai fan. Caleb has returned. I keep expecting short hop charge up. And it looks like Kai does too. Oh, that could have been a forward tilt if he walked forward a little bit more. Pardon that spot though. Oh, that bear reached so far. I love the ability to just like nose pick as you get hit away as soon as. So good, good, good little scratch. Take a breath. Jab forward tilt, great choice. Back air, good. That beast kind of crazy sometimes. Good bear there. The grab, and that's it. Mm. Yeah. You can throw these as the spacey, but so much needs to go wrong. That was an insanely good back there. Mm -hmm. I know, he's, he's here now. Oh, wait, something. Oh, he was here. He literally, like, walked in two seconds ago. He might be avoiding you, which is really funny. What's up? No, I didn't. What, like over, over what? No, I didn't. Was that like on the phone call or something? I just like corner. What okay, was the no for? Okay, so. Alright, gaming concluded. Dinner takes it. 3 0. Like. Dinner? Alright, as dinner, I will come, I will avenge. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Essay classic, at least in this current era. Yo, I'm keeping the Daisy Peach icon. It just feels right. Do I just like buy all them or do I like start playing the lottery with them? Like, cause my dad get to be two Happy Meals and see what I get. Or do I just buy the ones I care about? 
Bob, they're so nice. Like I'm, I'm in a group chat with like other losers, and it's great. And like one of my friends just posted a picture of like her findings, and it's like pretty groomy ones. I'm actually embarrassed. I don't know which fucking video card grooming one is supposed to be. Like you think I would know. But I don't. And I feel like such a loser for that. Like, I must be the biggest idiot because surely it's gonna be a card I know. But also, it doesn't look like anything. It's like, it looks like a generic red dragon. Like, not Black Eyes Red Dragon. But just generic fucking dragon. I don't know what car that is. Someone please help me. I'm losing my mind. Oh yeah, there's Miller. <laughs> oh my god, I have Gotcha around like dinner time. It's like Lucifer needs your help. Stop Diesel Bob from eating everything in the fridge. And it's like past that time that I can get my little freebie. And it feels like the game is taunting me for choosing having a hobby over this gotcha. I mean, there's no event going on, so it really doesn't matter. I, I'm trying to do, but then like, I just don't do it quite right, so even if I do get it, I end up dying. But I'm like running through. Sorry, my game just had a loopsy for a second. But I like running through, like as Peach, you really do want to get comfortable with like just going down, holding float, like, with the high the aiming for and just like pressing the A button or whatever equivalent is on your rectangles. Oh fuck, this is just Yeah. I'm I don't even know what happened there. No contest. I was fucked. Classic stadium. Ready? Go. You know, I was sick of Battlefield for like a good couple of four months now. I think I'm just sick of stadium now. Like, that's my new. I hate the stage. I don't want to see it. I think for the past couple of tournaments, I'd just like, I'd go any stage for like Battlefield against like Falcon because I was fine with like Yoshi's and Dreamland. And they weren't gonna get Stadium because I'd never let them have it. Because they never let me have Fog Bastards. Second, and he chose lasers. Good for him. I think it's gotta be really nice. I mean, like, yeah, Falco, you can just choose to slow the game down. And I like how Kai actually does something. When, like, he extends the game. 
say, just like throwing out lasers and doing like a bad option. We're in the netplay Falco is watching. Be like hi. Don't do like three to ten lasers and then a dare. Do lasers if you want, but like actually think about why you're doing that there. Oh damn. Yeah. It's a free country. This momentum. Like, he takes his, like, his sock where so nobly, and he can bring that into the next game. And I think that'd be really super. I think it's also important to remember, like, obviously you don't want to play Plate, but it's a it's so important to remember, like, you do have that other stock. Like, I think there's a balance between playing like you're on your last stock, but also remembering that it's not the end of the world because you do have your actual last stock. It's like, I think if this was lost. Yeah, if that was, like, Kai's last stock, I think, like, he'd be way more than this. I guess he probably is now. But, like. It's just fishing. Hopefully throw it back in. But... You know what? That works as well. No contest. the game is doomed so like I think it's terrible to like go win with that mindset even if it is like literally the worst stage you could be on in the matchup. I mean still obviously like even if you lose gain information like like say what McLeod is more feeling like doing today or like how confident she's feeling when she's going for like just the more basic stuff or like the really hard most physical punch. But um, I wouldn't really say it's true. It's please. Because this stage has gone with me and I'm, I'm sure I said a lot about that. I always know when I was commentating. But like, I guess we could still make it work. I do think it's a really good feeling though when like you win on like say FD it's like spacey against Peach or whatever and then like they take you back and like you're still doing okay or at least well enough like that's a good feeling hopefully Kai gets to feel that way yeah. <laughs> I know it's not as extreme since I play Peach and like my best counter picks are like stuff like Dreamland. Well, not playing on like a matchup, but it's just good to feel no matter what character you're playing against. It does. It. I've definitely like fucking hit myself when like I go to FD and I just lose. It's like I shouldn't. I think it also depends like 
Sometimes you lose because you're dropping stuff more so than just getting outplayed. No contest. Like actually that was big because Jimmy McLeod wins this and Cat gets to go to whatever stage basically. Basically, just like side B, and you fail to cover it. But if you're like me, because you like trying to remember to like cover the angle, so you go for like a down air, and that's just not the right option for side B, and then you feel like a dumbass. Like, I just see that, and I just remember. Like, when it happens to me, like, yeah, I feel that. There's any time when you're like, you're supposed to do the right thing. It's just really hard covering everything. Or everything to the best you ability with this character anyway. really great that McLeod just sees like like say Falcon is instant like just pull out the child immediately just gets ready to like go out flow do the nail. I mean that's like a bit different but like when when he was closer you can more reasonably expect to get in there. So like trying to get more comfortable sometimes just figuring out when like there's just nothing I can do to even put on edge guard, just like even men rough. Um You hate to see that honestly. <laughs> I, I I've definitely done that and it's, it's a heartbreaker because SD with like feet still so much more weight for feeling too spacey. <laughs> Do you expect it's gonna happen? By like every spacey, when you can't meet each one, you just you know it's gonna happen to no one. So it's like when it just do that shit is huge. It's like fuck. Why? <laughs> All big money. I was smiling, but it wasn't from the heart. <laughs> it was, it was like the. <laughs> oh yeah, gaming. something else to remember so like I don't know how much I can reasonably say like like it's probably good but like it does seem to be a thing it's like mental overload and you're trying to cover like space recovery I didn't see the power of something. 
Guy's stealing up. Oh god. <laughs> we don't steal up too hard. <laughs> So that was actually good gameplay. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> no, I just picking up the headset wrong you hit a ball. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's it's uh, instant feedback. Gamers. Gaming. I don't know. Gaming? I felt my brain like turn off halfway through so I punched my leg and it kinda worked. <laughs> you, you <laughs> Thanks Josh. He was smiling like second to last game, but it wasn't like a real smile. It was oh, it was the I insanity smile. smile. No, that was oh, getting getting shined <laughs> into death of a tech chase, and I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> that was my kill. I'm not good. Good luck. job, Kai. Uh, I'm definitely thinking like you need to like hold on to that. Like you need to make your opponent just like keep hating themselves. Like I think that's part of momentum as well. Yeah, it is for sure. I was like, I don't know, it was, I just felt myself get, um, not what's the word, but when you, like, comfortable. I, like, felt myself get comfortable, and I, like, hated that. It was I more than the, uh, so I just, punt, I just, like, tried what I did to wake up. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Like, yeah, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, I think you do need to be comfortable. Like, it, it really depends on the matchup and person. See ya, it was lovely seeing oh, you. See ya. One day I'll get to play you in tournament, Ruben. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It was like, well, when I say comfortable, and I mean, I mean, like, I wasn't trying. Oh, like, yeah. I was like, I was like too comfortable where I'm just like, yeah, it's just happening. Game is happening. Where I'm just like, and I, it's, uh, so I sometimes I feel that and I just like start to get angry and it doesn't work. But that game, it worked. I don't know. I, um, think, I think it depends, right? Because I think like, I think it's way better to be like comfortable in that sense than like really like on edge. Yeah, it depends. That's what I mean. It's like sometimes, yeah, no, you're right. Especially in that matchup, but you go on. I shouldn't. Oh, no, you're right. Um, yeah, it's, I play around with my mindset when I feel, when I feel like placid like that, when I'm like not really trying to push and I'm just like letting things happen. It's like sometimes I get angry. Sometimes I like try to breathe and like calm and I, I don't know. It's, it's, things work for different situations. Human brain is confusing and I hate it. Mm. So I'm studying it. Turns out. I think um, one of the best mindsets to have is like still you're trying to win but also having fun with it. Like I remember when I was playing against Ruben, like I was still like like actively like yeah. finding stuff hilarious. Like Ruben as well, like it was just there was some giggles. Yeah, the, the <laughs> I was it's fun with it. I was kind of just like but sometimes I'm in that spot where I'm I'm having too much fun with it. Where I'm just like, Yeah, I'm chill, I'm I'm enjoying this. We're chill and then I'm like, Oh, I'm losing. I was like, wait a second, and I'm like not really interacting, and I'm like, what? When I when I go, I I have like this little thing where I just recount what happened in my brain, and I'm just like, if I can't remember what my like opponent's been doing and like what what I'm trying to like do, like if I physically like can't remember what has been happening in the set, that means like, and I'm not like ultra locked in, like I'm not ultra locked in, I, but when I'm ultra locked in, I normally remember, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, if I don't if I don't remember what has been happening recently and what I'm trying to do, that means like I'm not there. That means I'm not trying, and this is like I have to try and fix that. But 
it kind of works in that set. Like, I, I felt like I turned on a bit more, but I think Kai gave me some of the, like... There, when I'm not working on Punish, it's hard to explain, but, like, when I'm not working on Punish, there's cop-outs I go to, I go for, like, specific tech chases, specific spots where I'm just, oh, I just read, um, and I, like, try to get the most off it, and it felt, I think Kai gave me, like, a few of those, so it's hard to tell if it was, like, I was focusing more and it was better, or if I just got, like, a little bit more lucky, but who knows. I Game's hard. I mean, I do think sometimes you should, like, dumb it down. Like, go yeah. for the easier stuff. Like, there's there's no reason to go for the ultra-hard punishes when, like, when, like, you're stocking half and above. And, like, I know that sounds controversial, but I think it's way better to just, like, go and get your bread and butter so that you're more likely to win Yeah. By, like, dropping something and then, like, getting reversed off that. That's not really controversial. It's just, like, when I'm not grinding punish game because I'm like, my focus right now is, like, neutral and interacting and just, like, looking more... It's I just don't have the same reactions, so I just kind of have to supplement it, or I just have to read a lot more when I'm not practicing punish game. So it's it's yeah, but there's there's still even when I'm not practicing it, there's still m it, it's like this weird type rope where I'm like not going for like the ultra hard stuff, but I'm also not like chimping out the stuff that's too cheap. So it's like this weird middle ground where I'm like still trying to react, but I'm not trying to do anything like crazy with it. So I don't know. It's a this game's a balancing tightrope, and I keep falling off. <laughs> I know. I at least for me, I I feel like I play worse when I'm like actively tilted. Yeah. Than like when I'm having fun, because at least having fun, the worst is that I'm chill. Whereas tilted, I just like, I just just want to get it over and done, which really doesn't mesh with how I play the game. I just like my. It, it wasn't really tilted. I just like wanted to see me. Like when I get like that, it's not it's not at my opponent, it's not anything like that. It's like I just wanna see myself put some heart on the screen and I'm just like I'm not doing anything. I'm like I wanna see myself do something. And like as soon as I see myself do something, I like relax after that. Yeah, I just think too much frustration in general. No, like I agree. You, you need to have some but like I think like there's like a hard line where it just starts mm -hmm. to spill over. I also was having fun in that set. Like it was still like even when I get angry at myself at this point, it's like I am self-aware enough to where I am, I'm like having fun and angry, or I'm just like, I know why I'm angry, and uh, like, I'm, I'm like, I'm allow myself to be angry at myself for like what I've done, but I also still, it doesn't, it doesn't sort of take over where I'm still like appreciating the games, I'm still having a good time, I still like being at the tournament, and I still like competing, where it's, but I'm like, it's, it's, I, I'm, I, I'm getting to the point where I'm like self-aware enough where I can just get angry over like the specific things I'm getting angry about. And then I can still I can still feel like the good emotions and like still feel how happy they are like what's happening. Yeah, I just remember during our set I was like it, not tilted but definitely upset. Like I try to like just say for a turn up and it felt like it just wasn't like doing it. And mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I was just like really botching it or one. I was like, God damn it! I look like a fucking <laughs> loser. <laughs> like not even doing anything. Meanwhile, I'm like trying to throw this turn up like with the C stick or whatnot. I love that you're doing this interview while tapping your gotcha. It makes it gives it so much more vibes. <laughs> Zuma. You only just noticed it now. <laughs> no, I've noticed. I just I, I only commented on it. A little bit different. Um, yeah. I don't know. That's the tournament. Yeah. I had a good time. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. I'll put the anything. What needs to go away? TVs? Yeah, TVs. Alright, everybody, thanks for watching. It's your boy Kaiser. Um, yeah. Another tournament in the books. Uh, Cheese League May 2024, Donzo. Um, as always, you can find the VODs at SA Smash TV on YouTube. Link in chat. If you want to follow me, hit me up on Twitter. You know where to go. KB Kaiser. Follow me everywhere. Um, and follow Catch Warriors SA for all updates for South Australian Smash. Um, you can hit up all these socials if you want to follow me everywhere. Totally optional. Don't need to. But it's always nice. And... Um, I'm going to be signing off. I'll find someone to raid and we will peace out. we got to pack up. It's 9 o'clock. Time to go. And we will, we will raid.
We'll raid Enigma events because they are streaming Rebels 2 beta tournament. Let's do that. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the stream, you can send me a tip at um, the Kofi link in chat as well. Um, you know, just a little thing that you can do to say that you enjoyed the stream and that you want to support future events like this. Enigma events is what it is. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Peace out.